We can watch three of them. You were avenging the fallen fangs. Okay, so that was number nine, it looks like. So yeah, number ten is what we're on. On my journey to prove that a League yeah. of Legends player can actually be nice to his I teammates, love, I sought out to a. I love Rav's videos so much. By the way, he's just such a good uh, uh, storyteller and everything. He is in Fangsley, but just to help him level and so he can communicate and so he can also do it. Yo, do well, yo, Bald Morocho. Thank you, man. I'm gonna can I talk to you tonight. Give me some tips, dude. You gotta give me some tips. Got any tips? Got any tips? But yeah, let's watch this shit. Also, since I'm in the raid, I may not be able to BFD tonight, but we'll see what's up. Bans the deaths of my guildies. I took down the blood sale <laughs> buccaneers, a clan of clean pirates led by a literal. I love the uh, headband. Jemmy. Then I did what the hunter and Fandy's mm -hmm. group couldn't by closing out her only fans page before yeah. starting an escort in Searing Gorge. I showed one of our fearless brainless leaders that I will <laughs> carry on his legacy by escorting a selfish metal chicken through a humid forest and then I took down a guild killer in the Vale of Stranglethorn by stripping down to my willies and whipping axes yeah. a patrol to prove that Chad I can be move, a fully killer and am not to be messed with. Alright, episode 10. It Drama and Zulfarak. I think out of all the fucking dungeons, Zulfarak is like by far the most <clears throat> not hardest, but the most people want to be in because there's a lot of good loot for everybody in that dungeon. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, study up on the mechanics and ask questions and you'll do fine. Hell yeah. People probably die to trash or a big wipe on only is always possible, but unlikely with big DPS. Yeah, because I remember the Kungin wipe, but they didn't have world buffs and they were horrid, so. I think we'll be fine. It turns out I can single-handedly start and end gang wars in Westfall, master the hardcore elements, and overcome challenges where others have. Do you have fallen, a fire rest set? Don't need it, man. Don't need it. I learned that at this level they can just go full-blown herd dog, gather a crowd, tell them okay. to sit still, and then summon a god. Fire mage is so broken, dude. Until they all die. And or not fire mage. Frost and mage. Hardcore, it just meant an opportunity for me to save an Elwyn hottie, and then while she is drinking her loaf of bread, try to run some epic riz on her. <laughs> but while the magicians could just mass genocide mobs I was stuck questing and the things I was being asked to do were starting to get weird. Some paranoid drug dealer apparently buried uh, piles of cocaine all over the zip code and now wanted me to go dig them up, saying mm. that the only way to find them is to wear this dish satellite sponsored helmet while I was out there. Beautiful big booby nipples. <laughs> but while this dude just wanted to go, I actually every love that other townsfolk I talked to all wanted to send me to the same place. Zulfarak. 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 Zulfarak to the west. A high level dungeon which, from my research, is responsible for many deaths, including Gilbert. Oh, this so was Lama. I remember this one. Full of hardcore genius. Wait, wait, who are For these people? L. Rendall, Trilly, Heal Big Scary, and Trash Knight. Would you trust this? Would you trust this group? For starters, I knew I needed to get it was one not more quest, okay. One that my mage already had, but couldn't properly communicate if it was shareable. I didn't want to spend ten minutes walking through Dick Swallow Marsh and getting yeah. swamp ass, but I needed to make sure it was actually shareable first. I knew that quests are <clears> shareable <throat> if this button is red and not shareable <laughs> if this button is gray, so I asked the little Hogwarts shitter to hover that quest and tell me if it's red or gray. To which he said no, and then gave me attitude while also contradicting his already confusing answer. So then I was Said like, no. okay, you fucking Wait. Muppet simple. Wait, is, is the Tiara quest shareable? I don't think it is, is it? And gave me attitude while also contradicting his already confused. So this mage is trolling. Using answer. So then I was like, okay, oh, we're gonna get to that simple like question that. is the damn button red to which he said no, which according to my demonstration earlier means it's not shareable. <laughs> Only to then immediately say it is shareable. So naturally, before I pull another WoW classic and waste 40 minutes of my life walking into bumfuck Egypt, I asked if he could just try to do it yeah. down to my surprise he did share the wrong fucking <clears throat> quest before telling me to relax. So yeah, that incompetent midget was my group's mage. <laughs> Add that to the fact that my tank flat out would- That is not a good sign, dude. That is not a good sign, dude. died trying to solo a mob if I didn't run into him- Wait, on holy shit, course, he almost so died to a fucking elite! Sack just to save his ass, so let's just say I had nothing but confidence in my group going into an apparently deadly dungeon. Dude. The first few pulls were going fine. I was not surprisingly winning the dick measuring contest, but the tank this was group is already scuffed. And molasses going uphill on a cold day, spewing some riddles about mana when the healer's been gay <laughs> chilling at full. Wait, what do you say? He's going up. Cold day.
Going uphill on him as molasses on a cold day. He's RPing, dude! The Avatar, master of the hardcore elements at night. My day job boss would give two shits if I said the dungeon I started at 10 p.m. the night before was being tanked by a sloth, so I took the liberty of pulling patrols, yeah. you know, play a little bit of peekaboo behind the wall. Only to realize she didn't like this. I and got started the pads, me don't can, worry about it. Shoot, but no one puts be shooting baby there, in Mr. Corner, Rav. And sure enough, all, Nobody puts baby in the corner. All the elaborate ways she can get me killed start coming out as threats. We then what? got to a room with big ass piles of cocaine on the floor and I'm thinking bro if only Marvin could see this but the group decided that my troll tempers weren't important and would rather I just wait the 12 minutes for the tank to oh, pull the boss to a spot where I can't attack so I chose to contribute in my own way. <laughs> we arrive at the Spanish steps where a few it's friendlies like, uh, were in prison so we politely big damage. asked their bodyguard where all his health went and then we released them only that to one, that guy's not that really there is an boss. entire village who aren't exactly cool with them leaving. After a short eternity, we euthanized the entire incest ridden yeah. extended family and killed their leader, but something seemed off. The little green goblin is all like, Peace, I'm outy, and that's when I remembered. Sergeant Bly stole from me. He said he'd only borrow it, but he stole my cherished divine like the perfect rock. nerd is Bly voice. is a backstabbing douchebag, and he wasn't a fan of being accused of such, so I had to play the stand still and auto attack for five minutes while all 18,000 of his health slowly pisses off until we yeah. finally kill him and get back the divine rod. Then the final boss is in sight, and I've been patient so. Oh my god! We kill him with okay, he was just joking. Else finishes getting their quest items except for me, and of course, these board certified dickheads are all like veiled. We tried our best, but the trolls just ain't dropping enough of their sweet juice. So they ditched him to get Better the fucking uh, with the drops, even though they know that I know that there's 60 the troll temper himself in the other room. So I figure if they don't want to help, I will finish the damn quest myself. Honestly, this surely for the best. would be deadly to do alone. Oh, shit. But if I just dig one grave at a time, I'll be fine. Yeah. I thought only to immediately realize that these mounds are like clown cars, and I was capital F. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't run as wow, we got three and one. That's like the me, most so unlucky, I, I think, RNG. Oh, shit, dude. He doesn't get stuck in there, does he? Oh, easy clap in the lair, dude. <laughs> There's no way he I decided died. to take a small vacation to another country to clear my head before I attempt to finish that quest on my own because a homeboy in the burnt brownie of a zone searing gorge needed my help. At least help. Hunter can solo Apparently it, you know? his dad died in some mining incident and it was on me to stick it to the greed bag executives at the company who weren't paying out the dead dude's pension. I wanted to tell him bro mm -hmm. you have the literal Optimus Wait. Prime of dwarfs up. Is he gonna solo over Cyril Malentark or whatever the fuck his name is? That guy was dealing with his own issues. You see, the climate out here combined with the lack of air pressure makes me <laughs> fingers expand. They're like gigantic Thelsamar blood sausages, they are. But we had a devious plan to infiltrate I love these the bitches, which started with four towers in flames. Cut out the eyes and then attack their mm -hmm. leaders was music to my Westfall gang slaying ears, so I did his errands of attacking the serpent sting vaccinated burnt hot pockets so that we could construct nice. a source of fire. Then he was all like, You will need a shaft. While his simp sidekick McConnell was like, Oh, I know where <laughs> you can get a shaft you can hold master. We decided to construct the shaft like heterosexual men, and even though my guide was like, Hey, bro, now you just need to use this hole to fall to your wait, death wait. in front of man, and even though my guide. The was hardcore like, guide tells you to jump down into the, into the fucking platform? Dude, I feel like this would kill so many noobs. Like, I don't think they understand, like, most hardcore players are like, Terrible. Okay, bro, now you just need to use oh, you know this I mean? hole to fall to your death in front of Oh, yeah. You guys think I can make that jump? <laughs> of 80 mobs, I chose to get the shaft ingredients up top, which after yeah, an rest hour, EXP I leads to your death. rate of around negative 9%. Finally! <laughs> Tony Boy was like, thank you. <laughs> I love the invader Zim. Shit on a few <laughs> <people's religion. laughs> they carry symbols and idols that pay homage to their gods. <laughs> <Then return laughs> That's to funny, actually. Solve a Rubik's cube, and McConnell here will teach you how to commit arson. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Bro, this shit is easy. No one will have an issue with you walking yeah. and looking like you are about to light the torch at the opening games of the Olympics." He was wrong, but hey, I'm not above murder. And with that, the first tower nice. was cooking. By the last tower, I had a routine down where I would tell Howard to go talk to the guard knowing he won't be able to resist petting that little black boar back mohawk while I set the whole shit on fire and then together we will make like geese and get the flock out of here. 
I couldn't wait to go back. I think and Hunter tell was the a good choice. The surveillance him. was cut, and we were primed to kill their leaders and avenge their daddy's death. But Homeboy was all like, "Yeah, never mind. I feel like being a dragon today instead." And unless I'm just an idiot, I got hard clickbaited by that now Charizard who originally promised me a gang war. <laughs> but weird unresolved questions. Yeah, I, I do. I do remember he just straight up to turns into a dragon, which ladies. was collecting the rest of my troll tempers all because my tank on right, going back had a temper in. of his own, and while soloing the Ferric of Zul might seem dumb, Rav the Avatar is the dumbest. Oh, that's ironic. After what, what happens later. Honestly, he's doing a lot of damage. Like, I think he's got this. Rav is kind of a Giga Chad. Nice, Fade Diff reset. Okay, maybe not. And he's like, he's like a pro at this already. Like, it's incredible how good Rav is at fucking World of Warcraft. Like, he's never played before. And he plays better than 90% of the other hunters out there already. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually heals his and pet, so doesn't, like, face pull the whole dungeon, so hard together doesn't run out of arrows. With countless close calls and me guiltily gambling a bit too freely with Howard's well-being, I was able to finish that quest, so if my ZF yeah, group is watching, so suck my ass. Sincerely, <laughs> Rav. But with that triumph under my belt, I was ready to take on some supposed. That reminds me of the Barty quests. videos. The first being in the gaping chasm, which coincidentally was also Russell's mom's nickname in college, but it was also <laughs> a labyrinth of a cave with like 12 species of bug in it, and my job was to oh, go man, to the I love how he part of to everybody to retrieve dude. some goblin's oven that he left in there for some ungodly reason. That was no mm -hmm. challenge for Rav the Avatar, but what I was about to attempt yeah, next was PC. just a death clip waiting to happen. A congested oh, no. cave full of elites and the main bald fatty that I needed was in the furthest corner well, level... and apparently yielded okay. the ability to turn me and Howard against each other. He is rumored to employ mind-controlling magic. I knew Howard was oh, going shit. to take a beating and I, I thought that was the boy. end. Now you see me now you don't I feel like he should be able as long as he doesn't get responded. Variant. Mitch Jones variant. Anytime I more than one my hands would get too sweaty to Mitch play Jones. properly and I would need to run out. I reached the final pack of three with the mind That's controller all I know in the about. back and I knew if I didn't go now, respawns would cut off my escape plan if things went poorly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say too. Like, if he gets respawned on, he's fucked. But he's guiding this really well. Oh shit, okay, maybe not. How we're kind of got slapped. was sending me signs to just walk away and with my world buffs falling off and respawns it would be best to just accept that there are some quests that I can't solo is what a pussy would say and mama rap And easy after running these peasy. Balls, look how far he guided him dude look he's like all the way on the road i'm pretty sure this is like like yeah he's next to the fucking river he took him like all the way to like i-95 just to kill him and after running these bald mind controlling diabetics easy through the strangle peasy. Bale annual Oops. half marathon my mission was complete and no Oops. no quest was going to prove too hard for rav the avatar <laughs> sorry about that Man, that was a good episode. It's not it's not classic if you don't have a scuffed as fuck dungeon at least once, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get the next one. Episode 11 called The Beginning of the End. I used to live near I-95, yet I've never heard that phrase. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's like an I-95 and a 495 next to me and a 66. Let me make sure I'm not missing nothing. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got a guild meeting. Three o'clock. 
We're set. We are set. Oh shit, I just moved something. My bad, guys. Cut my life into pieces. Wait, huh? What the hell just happened? What's happening? Are you in Nova? Hell yeah, dude. Hey, Ozzy, hope you're having a good day. What's up, old Chief? Is Rav 60? He's level 53. So Rav died. 